In this video, we'll be discussing about the antigen, its structure, types, and its binding sites. In simple terms, we can say antigen is a molecule that is able to generate antibodies in our immune system. So we refer antigen as a G antibody generator. But it must be noted that there are some antigens that do not generate antibodies, but they are also antigens. We see these antigens evoke the immune response when antigen binds antibody. In our body, we have mostly two types of antigens, foreign antigens that are exogenous antigens and self antigens, which are endogenous antigens. But it must be noted here, all endogenous antigens are not self antigens. The self antigens originate from within the body. And it's through negative selection of T cells that our immune system does not target the self antigens. But if endogenous antigens generates from virus or bacteria within our body, immune system launches the attack. Now first of all, let's see the structure of antigen. The antigen can be made up of proteins, peptides, that's amino acid chains and polysaccharides. In this diagram, we can see the antigen has got one small region that defines its function and working. And that structure is called the epitope. The epitope is the smallest part of antigen that's recognized by our immune system. And remember, the part of antibody that binds antigen epitope is called the paratope. This paratope is specific for antigen epitope. Moving further, we classify the epitope of protein antigen into two classes, conformational epitope and linear epitope. The conformational epitope functions due to its structure and shape. So we can say the 3D structure of epitope defines its function. The conformational epitope have vast majority of structures which are recognized by our immune system through their specific paratopes. Here in this diagram, we see all the epitopes have different conformational structures which defines their function. On the other hand, we have linear epitope which does not require any three-dimensional structure to work on. The amino acid linear sequence defines the function of epitope alone. We can have different epitopes from linear amino acid sequencing. Like if we say X and Y are two amino acids, then we have the sequence of different amino acids in a way like XXX, YY sequence of amino acids. It defines one epitope. The other epitope could be YX, YXXX. And in the same way, we can have different type of epitopes through linear sequencing of amino acids. Now getting to the concept of partial antigen and complete antigen. This partial antigen is also termed as heptin. First, we see the complete antigen. As its name states, this is the complete antigen and is able to induce antibody formation and evoke immune response. Whereas partial antigen or heptin is unable to induce antibody formation. Thus, it alone cannot evoke immune response, but it can evoke immune response when coupled with carrier protein. In the same way, we classify heptins into complex heptins and simple heptins. Complex heptin has large molecular weight, it's polyvalent compound and has two or more antibody combining sites. Whereas simple heptins have low molecular weight and are univalent in nature. Now let's jump towards the exogenous antigen and endogenous antigen. The exogenous antigens have origin outside of the body. Whereas endogenous antigens originate inside of the body. Either it can be self-antigen or antigen from bacteria or virus. The antigen presenting cells take in the exogenous antigen and processes them, whereas no take-up required for endogenous antigens. In exogenous pathway APCs, that is antigen presenting cells present the antigen to the CD4 cells or helper T cells via MSC2 processing. Whereas in endogenous pathway, the antigens are degraded in cytosol and then antigens are associated with MSC1 molecule of nucleated cells. And then this MSC1 molecule then presents the antigen towards the cytotoxic T cells or CD8 cells. So this is what antigens are and the term is related to it. But there is also a concept of super antigen, a class of antigen that cause non-specific activation of T cells, resulting in polycolonial T cell activation and massive cytokine release. The super antigen video is already in the playlist or you can find it in the description. I hope you like the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Do consider supporting my work on Patreon and also make sure to subscribe to this channel. Thanks.